what you're doing, darling. Rowing. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to day 10 of the Coast to Coast. We are doing well and are on our last little section now, which is the North York Moors National Park. So we've got a full day in it today, walking along the Cleveland Way. We have left Osmotherly this morning. We stayed in a place called Coke Gill, which is like a youth hostel, and I'd highly recommend anyone staying there. It's absolutely lovely. And we're making our way up to Clay Bank, so just past the Waystones today. So a bit of a shorter day than yesterday, as you'll have seen from the previous video. So as you can see, we are now on the Cleveland Way, and we are following that for the whole day today. And it should be very interesting because we've already hiked this route. But when we did it last time, I think it was pouring it down with rain, was it? Yeah, <laughs> we were doing it last time. So it should be a lot nicer today. So we're looking forward to seeing it in all its glory. But we are doing well. Our spirits are very high and we have literally only got three days left now. And I did pick up an injury yesterday. I hurt my calf. So that was late yesterday afternoon. So I tried to rest it as much as possible last night. And it's giving me a little bit of trouble this morning, but it's manageable. So fingers crossed that doesn't disrupt the order of things. We are looking forward to going across the moors today. It looks really nice and the weather looks absolutely perfect for it. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go.
Well, that was certainly a wonderful coffee and it got us over yet another hill. And we are approaching our final one here, which you can see behind me, which goes all the way to the top. And then just at the other side, they should be the Waynestones. So we're looking forward to seeing them. When we get to that point, we are getting to a place called Clay Bank, which is a road where our hotel is actually going to be able to pick us up from trail because we're staying in Great Broughton tonight, which is a few miles away. So they do offer a pickup service, which we are so grateful for. <laughs> so all we have to do is get over that hill to the other side and then that's us done for the day. Okay, it turns out that was not the last hill. This is the last hill and that is where the Wayne Stones are. And I got all hot and bothered and all sweaty thinking I was at the end and I wasn't. <laughs> now I've got to climb that one and then go over the other side and get a lift. <sighs> Off we go. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. What wonder? How come? Que ya le encontré nuera, que esa nena ya es mía, la loca para afuera, así que tranqui, tranqui, que ella se lo goza con... Good morning and welcome to day 11 of the coast to coast. It is really cold this morning, but I've not got my jump from because there's quite a big hill to climb and I thought I'll just get warm anyway. So we are just starting back from Claybank behind me. The hotel gave us a lift back up again, which is always welcome when it's not trail miles. We've got about 22 today, so we better get cracking.
Give me a twirl. <laughs> Well, we have come to the end of our 22 mile day and it has been fairly uneventful, hasn't it, Derek? Yes. <laughs> What's been your highlight? <laughs> oh, uh, this pillar, this pillar. <laughs> That's been the most exciting thing about today. <laughs> <laughs> we did see, we think it was a little vole actually coming down, but. We had heard a couple of days ago that that was a bit of a boring section and we found it okay walking through all the farmer's fields. Today, however, coming up from Clay Bank all the way over to Gromont, well, actually not Gromont, a couple of villages before Gromont, um, Egton. Yeah. Yeah, up to there. It was pretty much you climb up the hill onto the top of the moors and you follow a gravel path all day, <laughs> nearly. And it's flat, it's an old um, disused railway line. And the views were nice when you got to certain sections and you could see quite far along, um, but they didn't change all day. So it was kind of tough going. So when we got to the end and we got a little bit of river walking and along some little woodland areas, it was very nice indeed. But it was a slog today. It was quite difficult because it was a little tedious, dare I say, walking across the North York Moors. I know there's so many more nicer places than that to walk through. Um, but it did feel a little bit like getting from A to B. And unfortunately, when we got here at Gromont, we had a little look round at the steam trains. Well, they're not running at the moment because it's after half past five. They're on the platform over on the other side. Um, we then went to the station tavern thinking we could get a nice warm welcome after a long hiking day. And the guy behind the bar was really rude. Um, he moved us three times, didn't ask if we were eating or drinking. And then it was just a really awkward atmosphere. So we just kind of left. We had our drink really fast and a packet of crisps and left. And now we are waiting here at the train station for 45 minutes rather than sitting in there <laughs> when it's a little bit chilly. But you know, when you just don't feel right somewhere and we are heading to Whitby. So what we're doing is we couldn't get anywhere to stay here and we're staying in Whitby tonight, but then getting the first train back again here in the morning and then having our last day tomorrow, <laughs> which we kind of can't believe it's gone so fast now when you think we were at St. B's, it feels like ooh, four or five days ago. We can't get quite believe that it's gonna all be over tomorrow. We're really looking forward to it and we're quite excited about getting to the coast at the other side tomorrow and throwing in our pebbles. So we're going to sit here and wait for the train and see you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.
Good morning and welcome to day 12, our final day on the coast to coast. We left Whitby this morning where we stayed last night, got on a train, headed back to Gromont where we got off trail yesterday and are already three miles into the hike today out of our 15 and a half that we have to do before six o'clock because that's when our bus leaves Robin Hood's Bay. And I haven't said good morning yet because it was literally road walking all morning. We've just climbed up a really big hill for a couple of miles and now we're heading down over there to a small village somewhere. So it's a bit up and down today. We should hopefully see some lovely scenery and we get to walk along the coastal path towards the end down into Robin Hood's Bay, which I am sure will probably be raining by that point because we do have a bit of rain forecast. But at the moment it's nice and sunny, very windy today. Um, fingers crossed it won't get too bad, but we are so looking forward to finishing today. But we're also a little bit sad as well because we have had an amazing experience. We have literally loved all of it. It has been a wonderful hike. Um, so yes, it is with kind of a bit of sadness that we're finishing, but we are finishing strong and we're finishing happy. So that's the main thing. Right, let's see what the last day brings. Well, there has been quite a lot of walking on roads again this morning, but it's all okay because now look what is here. Ah, it's the North Sea. <laughs> we have made it to about three and a third miles away from the official end point. So we're now just descending down onto the cliff path, which goes along the edge for a few miles before getting to Robin Hood's Bay. And it's been really weird. It's been a very quiet walk. <laughs> I think we've both been reflecting a lot on a lot of the things that we've seen along the way. How wonderful it's been being out in nature every day and hiking, enjoying this time out. And also thinking about having to go back to reality again tonight and the usual things what you do when you get home and go to work and do your jobs and that different pace of life again. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very much forward, looking forward to getting home and putting my feet up <laughs> and having a rest. My feet are hurting and my calves have been giving me a lot of problems. Um, I hurt my left calf a few days ago, but it's been okay today. It's just now got very tight. Um, so it's not actually a bad tear or anything, but I will be glad to get them rested and feel a bit less in pain, <laughs> but I'm gonna miss the trail an awful lot because it has been an incredible hike. And I mean, come on, <laughs> look at this view behind me. I'm really gonna miss it, I really am. But we have still got 3.3 miles to go and we're gonna enjoy every single step of it.
we've made it to the end. This is the sign saying the end of the coast to coast walk. All we have to do is go down here, dip our feet or trainers in the water and throw in our pebble that we collected from the other side. So <laughs> we do have our pebbles, don't we? <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this video of our coast to coast walk. I've done plenty of other hikes and other trails that we've also done so feel free to check them all out in the description box below and on my channel. If you have liked it don't forget to give me a like and subscribe as usual and if you want even more content I am over on Patreon. All the details will be on the screen and coming up soon. But thanks for sharing this wonderful journey with us and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye! <laughs> Here we go. Ha, 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 ha.